Well, there's an old saying, if tough times don't kill you, they'll make you stronger. And that is true. One Suncoast teenager put that to the test. ABC 7's Linda Carson has her story. Linda. We honor Marina Petty as an amazing Suncoast woman. This past year, she has been in the battle for her life, and she came through it all, planning what she could do to help others. Marina Petty is just 17 years old, but this past year has given her wisdom far beyond her years. I got in a car accident on Christmas Eve last year, um, and my knee started hurting, and I went to the urgent care, and they discovered a tumor in my leg. And then on January 15th at Moffitt, she was diagnosed with bone cancer. I started my treatment February 12th was my first chemo. Those were difficult days. I had two different types of chemo, so it was, you know, some days I was in there for two days, some days I was in there for five days. But much of the time over the last year, she was in the hospital. And in the middle of chemo, she had surgery at Moffitt. I'm in remission now, so I'm doing good. She remains close to the young patients at All Children's who are going through the same treatments she went through. And it's been very difficult when some of her young friends didn't make it. Through it all, she kept up her studies. I do online classes, so for like they're Apex classes, so I can still do them. I can do them at Venice, so I can do them at home. But and there is a. Um, teacher at all children's that kind of comes out there and comes in your room and makes sure that you're doing your work. She had to drop out of the Venice marching band that she so loved, but she's continued her work with the 4-H club. She's now raising this steer named Stormtrooper that she plans to sell at auction at the Sarasota County Fair. And the auction money is going to all children's oncology unit and she hopes to raise $10,000, and she has big plans for her own future. She wants to get back to racing her truck at the DeSoto Speedway and... Graduate high school and then eventually go to college. Um, I want to go to FSU for law, so eventually do agricultural law. And her life lesson? I've learned a lot, but I think one of the main things is just to be like, thankful for what you have because you'll never know like what can happen because all that stuff happened like so fast and your entire life changes so fast so it's like don't take things for granted. Now raising that steer is not easy. She has to drive from Venice to Sarasota every day to feed and care for him. He eats about 25 pounds of food a day. She's hoping he'll soon eat more because she's hoping to really fatten him up before the auction. That's going to be at the Sarasota County Fair in March.